Hello, this is Samuel Thewlis with the Physics Focus, and today we're looking at using the equations of constant acceleration. Now here we have the five equations on the left, v equals u plus at, s equals u plus v over 2 times t, v squared equals u squared plus 2as, s equals ut plus a half at squared, and s equals vt minus a half at squared. And you should, of course, be familiar by now with what these five letters mean. U is the initial velocity, V the final velocity, S the distance travelled, A the acceleration, and T the time taken between, from the start to the finish of whatever you're talking about. So, how do we use them? Well, here is a typical kind of question that you might be dealing with, where you would use this sort of these equations. So, I'm riding along at a particular speed, I see something that causes me to stop, and I come to rest after 32 meters. How long does it take to stop, and what was the acceleration during that time? What you have to do here is work out what information the question is giving you, and what information the question is asking for. So, first of all, and this is good practice in just about any physics question, if you're not entirely sure what's going on, draw a diagram. Here we go, here is the level road. Here is me on the bicycle. That's at the beginning. And here, at the end. So, what do we know? Reading through the question here, I'm riding along at 16 meters per second. Oh yeah, the other thing we then do is underneath here, we write SUVAT, like this, S-U-V-A-T. And fill in all of the values that we know. So, riding along level road at 16 meters per second. So this here, that's how fast I'm going to start with. That's U. Sixteen meters per second. So that we can put that in here. U equals sixteen. I slow down, come to rest after thirty two meters. That is S. That's the distance travelled. 32 meters there. Now, in order to solve a SUVAT situation, you need to know three of the five values. Any three. If you know any three, you can work out the other two. If you only know two of them, you can't work it out. We need three. So if this question can be solved, it must give us at least three of these five values. And there is another one, and it's hiding a little bit. It's here. I come to rest. That means, at this point, I've stopped. That's telling me what V is. V is zero. Okay, we now know three of the values. Therefore, we can work out the other two. How long does it take me to stop? How long? That's asking for t. And what was the acceleration? That's asking for a. So we want to find out these two values. OK? Let's work out t first. So we know s, u, v. We want to find t. At this stage, we don't know about a, and we don't care. So we look for the equation here out of the 5 that doesn't contain a. 
because that's the one we don't don't know don't want to know right now which one is it here second one on my list is the equation that doesn't contain a so we just write that out and fill in the values s is 32 sorry write that again 32 equals u 16 plus v 0 over 2 times t t we don't know so we leave it as a letter so that's 32 equals 8 t t therefore equals 4 seconds done first part solved Now, second part, what was the acceleration? Now at this stage, we can use any equation that contains A, because now we know four of the values. It's good practice, however, to leave out the one that you've just worked out, t equals four seconds. You might possibly have made a mistake at that point, so to avoid carrying that forward, just in case, look for the equation that doesn't contain t. The equation that doesn't contain t is this one here. So, put the, the values into that. v squared, v is 0. 0 squared is 0. Equals u squared, 16 squared, plus 2 times a times the distance. Distance is 32a. So, 64a equals 16 squared Two hundred and fifty six negative because we've had to subtract the a round to that side of the equation. Divide by sixty four. And we get A equals minus 4 meters per second squared. So, what does the minus sign mean? That means, if you go back up to the diagram here, in this diagram, my initial velocity, 16 meters per second, is to the right. The dis displacement traveled from beginning to end is to the right. I have set this up so that in my diagram and in all of my equations positive values are to the right. So when I get a negative value for the, for the acceleration that means that the acceleration is actually to the left. In other words I'm traveling to the right but I'm slowing down. It's a deceleration of 4 meters per second. So there you go. Suvat equations are no more complicated than that, at least in one dimension, when everything's traveling in one straight line. Set it out, write out Suvat, work out which of these five values you know, write them down, which of the five do you still have left to find, which you're being asked for, Choose the appropriate equation, put the numbers in, and the rest is just algebra.